It's the sleepy and historic town called Badagri in the outskirts of Lagos, southwest Nigeria. Badagri resonates among many who know as the ancient town that was used as a conveyor belt during the dark days of slave trade many centuries ago. While there are many relics in today's Badagri that represents instruments and instrumentality of the dark days, those relics also serve as a cultural reminder and some sort of tourism place or destination. Every year, festivals are held to celebrate the emancipation of the black race, especially those who Asians passed cross through the sands and shores of Badagri. This year's Badagri Diaspora Festival is one unique event interrupting the serenity of the kingdom, but all for good. Historically, this spot used to be regarded as the point of no return by the slave merchants. But thank gracious, following DNA tests in some cases and deep trailing, many diasporans have linked their heritage to Nigeria and are coming home on this elaborate occasion and reception using the same route, but now christened the door of return. The significance of today isn't so much about re-articulating the events that's happened in the past, but rather about articulating an agenda for the future. Africa for Africa, promoting Africa's unity between Africans on the continent and its diaspora, measuring the successes of contributions of the black race to humanity, is of the essence to these returnees. I've already returned home. I've chose Ghana as my home. We have thousands of Africans who've already repatriated, and we are trying to use our testimony and our experience to give confidence to those Africans who still have doubts that Africa is not available to them. Africa is available. This is our time, and we're here to help amplify that message. Diasporians all over the world, and as you know, we're millions all over the world, they want to come home. They want to contribute to the development of Africa. They just don't know what to do or how to do it. And our little mission has been able to kind of help facilitate that. One of the things that I really want to stress is that diasporans don't want to feel that you only want us to come home for investment. We want to come home as family members. And that's one of the things that Ghana has done very well in terms of embracing us, in terms of giving us citizenship, in terms of giving us land, and really, really showing in a real way that they want us and they respect and they appreciate who we are as their kids, as their, their relatives. Nigeria also seemed ready to advance on the diaspora relationship. This is the first time the door of return is happening, you know, in this part of Africa. Uh, uh, not just pay lip service, but actually, you know, uh, opening the door of return for them. So that is part of what we're doing here, to create that seamless platform for Africans in the diaspora who want to have a connection with their roots back home. Welcome home, mates. Welcome to Nigeria, Africa's giant. The hope will be to see a robust partnership and immense contribution from their expertise. Olu Phillips, Channel Television News.